recognize the member for Port Moody Coquitlam. Thank you, Madam Speaker. In the last few decades, the world has experienced a technological revolution. High-tech products and services that you could only dream of before or read about in science fiction novels are now becoming part of our daily lives. And these products are coming on the market and evolving at an accelerating pace. And this is what drives the new economy. When you consider that the personal computer took almost 20 years uh, since inception to uh, being adopted by 25% of the US population, but smartphones only took five years, you can see how much of an impact new technology has. Consider now smart speakers like Amazon Alexa. Uh, it just took two years to get to 25% adoption. This is how quickly new technology can propagate through our society and change the way we do things. And all that change represents economic opportunity. And here in BC, our tech sector contributes almost $14.6 billion to the province's GDP and employs over 106,000 people. And that's more than mining, oil and gas, and forestry combined, even if you include all the manufacturing activities related to those industries. And the wages are almost 85% higher than the average wage in BC. There's been steady growth in revenues in this sector in the, in the last 10 years, and a 9.2% jump in revenue in 2016 to nearly $29 billion. And this new economy exists throughout our province. Let's start in the Lower Mainland, which is home to head offices for TELUS, Maxar Technologies, and Sierra Wireless, Wireless, just to name a few. Many other companies have established themselves here as well, including Boeing and Intel, Electronic Arts, Sony, Imageworks, Disney, Salesforce.com, and Tableau. And there are many homegrown industries and success stories here as well, like Zymeworks and Hootsuite and Global Relay. Motorola recently acquired BC-based Avignon Technologies for $1 billion. Mitsubishi is investing $4 million in BC, one of BC's top clean tech companies, MindSense. Fortinet is expanding and adding 1,000 new jobs in digital security. Microsoft is adding 50 new mixed reality jobs, but not only that, they're expanding uh, their technology education and literacy in schools program to teach computer science to BC high school students and also partnering with BCIT to expand tech training. Amazon is adding 1,000 new software engineering and related jobs uh, in the next two years. And a number of high-tech clusters have developed in Greater Vancouver in areas like alternative energy, digital media, virtual reality, biotechnology, and wireless. But high-tech is growing in all areas of the province. Vancouver Island is home to more than 1,500 high-tech companies, and Victoria has head offices for some of the largest, including broadband hardware manufacturer Vesima Networks and solar power systems manufacturer Carmana Technology. Nanaimo also has a strong information technology sector and has a large number of engineering and environmental technology firms. The Thompson Okanagan has over 800 high-tech companies, where Kelowna is the hub of the high-tech sector and has been called Silicon Vineyard. There are almost another thousand high-tech companies throughout the province. The Crown Corporation uh, Innovate BC, formerly BCIC, funds startup accelerators across the province in many of these areas, including Kamloops and Prince George. And government investments in broadband internet will allow many rural communities to participate in this new economy. So the future looks bright. Vancouver has been ranked the number one startup ecosystem in Canada. BC is also home to internationally recognized educational institutions and some of North America's leading research programs, including UBC's Data Science Institute, UVic's Institute for 
Data Science, SFU's Cybersecurity Center, and UBC's Quantum Matter Institute. Our R&D infrastructure also includes uh, the Center of Drugs Research and Development, Genome BC, Triumph, and BCIT Center for Energy System Applications. We also have the unique distinction of being in a time zone where our business day conveniently overlaps with afternoon working hours in Europe and morning schedules in Asia. And we are in the exact same time zone as the biggest tech hub in the world in Silicon Valley. Despite all the successes, there is room for growth. BC ranks third in the country in high-tech GDP behind Ontario and Quebec and far behind many U.S. states. Washington, Oregon, California all have around 20% of their GDP uh, contributed by the high-tech sector. Madam Speaker, the tech sector is a very important part of our diverse economy. And quite often, it doesn't get the attention that it deserves. While the previous government focused all of its energy on LNG, the tech sector grew. With a new government in place that recognizes the importance of this sector, it will continue to thrive and become a strong foundation of economic prosperity for all British Columbians. Thank you.